I'm Eli Lesser with Citrus TV Sports, and I'm here with Syracuse legend Ryan Raposo. Ryan Raposo recently was selected with the fourth overall pick in the 2020 MLS Super Draft after being named to the ACC first team last season with the Orange. Ryan, how are you doing? Good, good, good. How's it going? That's uh, going pretty well. How's your quarantine been? Um, you know, a little difficult, but, you know, the team, they sent us a stationary bike yesterday um, and some, you know, dumbbells, plates, and bands, and balls, so um, we'll definitely stay busy. That's good to hear. This is your rookie season. This is a kind of an awkward time <laughs> um, in your it. career to be quarantined. Um, how are you staying fit overall? Um, we do group exercises um, every other day via Zoom. So, you know, we'll have our, um, you know, fitness coach through um, our iPhones and kind of just FaceTime each other and go through exercises. Um, and then I usually do kind of my own uh, personal workout after that one. And then later in the day, um, we'll hop on the bike or go for a run. Awesome. Sounds good. So I'd like to kind of tell the story of your time at Syracuse through the questions I'm going to ask you. And I'd like to start off just how did you find Syracuse? What helped you make your decision to go to Syracuse instead of somewhere else? Um, I guess starting from the top, I was a Syracuse basketball fan when, as, a, as a kid. Um, I didn't follow it too much, but I mean, whenever college ball was on, I'll definitely follow the Syracuse Orange. Um, and, um, yeah, just obviously when I was getting recruited, maybe 17, um, 16, 17, um, I just knew that, you know, Syracuse was the team because, uh, my ultimate goal was I was seeing what Syracuse was doing with pumping out Generation Adidas guys. So I was seeing what they were doing there. And obviously, you know, it's close to home and they play, Syracuse plays in the best conference in the country. Um, so I made it my goal, you know, to, to reach out to the staff there and, and yeah, they came out and seen me. Um, coach Mack was actually at the game that I broke my leg in. So my recruiting process was kind of delayed a bit, but we, we kept in touch. And, um, I think one of my very first games back from my broken leg, um, my club team actually traveled to Syracuse and we played against, um, Syracuse in the spring exhibition game. Um, and, uh, actually I actually, I did well. Um, I started on the wing and, you know, I was very dynamic getting up and down the field right in front of the coach's bench. Yeah. And then from there that, that really helped my recruiting process that, you know, uh, coach Mack and the staff were able to see me firsthand against, against, um, the guys. Awesome. Speaking of coach Mack, uh, Currently, they're celebrating his 10 years as the head coach of the Syracuse soccer team. What is one piece of advice or one of your favorite memories of Coach Mack? Um, you know, Coach Mack, uh, he's a great guy, very enthusiastic, um, you know, tough when he needs to be. My favorite memory, um, I don't know, I have, I have a lot of good memories, but maybe just him you know, freaking out, going, you know, pacing up and down the sidelines. And, you know, those those are always funny, funny memories to see when uh, you're watching the games back. Awesome. So let's talk about not just you being on the soccer team, but you just being a Syracuse student. What are your sub, what are some of your favorite memories just being a Syracuse student and being on campus? Um, I miss it. I, I, I really do miss it. Um, you know, being a student and being in that environment and community of Syracuse, you know, the weather definitely isn't the best in the winter times, but I mean, in the fall and during the end of the second semester, I mean, it's great to be on campus and it's a, it's a great community. Um, you know, people love talking and it's, it's, it's really nice. You know, you, we have the quad, you know, that's nice to walk through and the classes and professors and everything. Um, you know, I really, really enjoyed my time at Syracuse, especially, uh, my major, I was a sport management major and, you know, those professors were some of my favorite, you know, like very, very open and you know it was, it was a really good time 
Yeah, speaking of academics, how important were your academics for you while you were at Syracuse? It was really important. It was, I would definitely say it, it was hard to balance, you know, the soccer schedule because we, I remember my very first spring there, um, be at the facility for like seven, you know, we're training at 8 a.m. until nine or whatever. It's starting at 7.30, ending at nine. And then you have a 9.30, so you quickly got to shower, grab a bite, get to class. Um, you know, and then you have a day of school. So it was definitely, it's definitely hard to balance both of them. But, you know, the academics were always important to myself and my family. Um, and yeah. Speaking of family, um, you, you grew up in Ontario, Canada, relatively close to Syracuse. Um, going back to your decision to come to Syracuse was, was distance from home pretty important for you? Being relatively Um, close? Yeah, I would definitely say that was a factor, but it it wasn't massive. Let's say I wanted to go to another ACC school, and that's really what I wanted to want it, and that's what I believed would lead me to be where I'm at now. For example, like a Duke or UNC, then I would have gone there. But, you know, Syracuse being close to home was definitely a benefit. Easter weekend or, you know, a bit longer break, I was able just to uh, take a train home and see my family, which was really nice. How do you think Syracuse best prepared you for your professional career? Um, What I always tell everyone about Syracuse and the men's soccer program is that it's very professional, very, very professional. Um, You know, before Syracuse, I I lived in Germany. I played in Germany, France, you know, so I, I, I have a good understanding of how the pro environment was like and coming into Syracuse. Um, obviously I, I visited other schools and when I did visit other schools and seen what it was like, it was very like college soccer. Like, you know, it's like school and soccer were like separate. Um, whereas at Syracuse, like it's very, very professional. Like, okay, you go to school. Sure. But once you step foot into the facility, it's a pro environment all around the, 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 the coaches are top. The facilities are top and the competition, your teammates are all great players. Um, so it definitely, and you even have the staff, the medical staff, uh, Corey Parker working with us in our physical development. Um, you know, it's all, it, it all really prepared me perfectly um, for the pro level. And it, like the proof is in the pudding. You see guys like Tejon, Mo, Miles, Kamal, um, you know, all, other guys that have been successful in the MLS and it shows what Syracuse has done. Awesome. So what were some of your favorite moments on the field uh, for the Syracuse Orange? Some of my favorite memories. I would definitely say scoring my first goal in the very first game um, away at Oregon State. You know, that was a cool experience. Um, My hat trick at UNC this year. Um, beating Rhode Island in the national tournament this year. Uh, and of course, beating Wake Forest uh, in front of the Syracuse fans 2 nothing last year when they were ranked number one. Yeah, all great moments. I got to say the personal favorite for me had to be the UNC hat trick. Watching that on ESPN yeah. Plus was pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now moving on to where you're at now. You're on the Vancouver Whitecaps. I right. got to watch your debut um, against the LA right. Galaxy. I'm actually an LA Galaxy supporter, so it was a little hard okay. for me to see you get that assist, but at the same time, very yeah, exciting. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about that moment, that pass to Ali Adnan, who set up the goal. How was that moment for you? Just to start it off, I wasn't even supposed to travel to LA. I wasn't on the travel roster. Um, and then the day we left to travel, some, someone got sick. You know, they sent me home to grab my suitcase and to, you know, travel with the team. So, obviously, I was really excited. And then, you know, we're warming up 60th minute, and I see the coaches calling for a player. And in my head, I'm like, uh, I was the last guy. I wasn't even supposed to be here. Like, I'm, like my time here, I'm just going to be warming up, you know, the whole game. But, 
you know, I was the first guy off the bench at like, I got some good minutes, came on at like the 66th minute. Um, so, you know, I was excited, but I was definitely well prepared. Like that's the moment I've been waiting for my whole life. And I wasn't going to let nerves and all that type of stuff get in the way of, of proving myself. Cause ultimately, you know, games, games is where you prove yourself. If you perform and get goals, assists, then you'll continue to be on the roster. And that was, that's what was on my mind. Um, while I was getting changed is um, you have to make a difference. You have to score. You have to get assists. Like there's, there's at this point, there's no other choice for you. If you want to continue to make the travel roster, you know, uh, you, you have to make a difference. And that's, that's what I made sure I did when I, when I got onto the ball, um, you know, I try to be the difference maker and defensively, I try to be the hardest working guy on the field. Yeah, but sir. yeah, to go to go back to your question of Ali, um, I remember I was shifted across the field. I was playing on the right side. I was really, really pushed far onto the left because they want our wingers to tuck in. Um, Ali got the ball, played it out wide for me. He made a good run, um, and I just kind of clipped it behind the back line with the outside of my foot. Obviously, he he, he flicked it over the defender, cut it back to to toss, and it was a great finish. Yeah, definitely when I saw you on the field, it really looked like you belong out there. And right. that was really great to see coming from someone out of the Syracuse program. That's and it. my last question is, Will you? do you plan to return to Syracuse to visit? Do you plan to stay involved in the program? No, for sure. I mean, the, the program's done so much for me. I keep in contact. I talked to uh, Sean Lawler who's the assistant there at Syracuse. I talked to him. I mean, I talked to him today. I talked to him very often. So um, definitely stay in contact. I still talk to the guys on the team. And uh, it depends on our season. Um, when it, when the MLS season will end, yeah, for sure. I would love to go back to Syracuse and, you know, see the coaches, see my teammates, and kind of just, uh, yeah, relive the experience. Awesome. Actually, I'm going to slide in one more question. Any words sure. of advice to the, the current Syracuse roster heading into the 2020 season for them, assuming it plays out? The guys for the fall. Yeah, for the fall. What, hoping yeah. that sports return in the fall. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you know, there's no real advice from me that they don't already know you know it's they know preseason is going to be a grind i would say for the guys coming back um especially not having that spring season which is helpful and you know getting to know more guys and this and that that um you know the older guys the simon triantafilus um who i who i believe will be the captain for the team and he's you know, quality player that I could see, you know, being drafted in the first round next year. Um, I, you know, I would tell him to bring the group um, and make make the guys close right away. You know, it, you can't you can't wait a couple of days and have these couple of clicks and whatnot. You know, you need to bring the guys together right away. You need to get a connection going right away um, on and off the field. And that, uh, you know, get the freshmen involved, get everyone transfers, get everyone involved early and to build uh, a strong, a strong culture um, and work hard ultimately. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me, Ryan. It's been awesome seeing you freshman, sophomore year and now in MLS. You're definitely one of the players I plan to continue to follow and see grow. For sure. So very excited to see what comes for you in the future. For sure. All right, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, for Citrus TV Sports, I'm Eli Lesser with Syracuse legend now, Ryan Raposo.